everyone, I'm Everdot. Welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to do another drawing. I mean, it's Easter, or it was Easter, about a week ago, a few days ago, whatever. Uh, so this drawing is um, obviously going to be an Easter Bunny, and I always like to do drawings of eggs and egg things. So that's where the egg robot started, and today we're not going to draw that at all. So don't want to be repetitive, so the Easter Bunny. Um, so today, I'm just going to sketch it out. Uh, we can see here that I'm drawing it with ears. Uh, an unusual choice for most people. Um, Easter bunnies, not usually the kind of animal that has ears, but I thought, let's go with adding really long ears too, because uh, that'll make it even more freaky. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna add ears to a rabbit. I know, crazy. Uh, so <laughs> now this rabbit, I'm thinking, is making off with an egg. I don't know if it's like the Easter bunny or like a spy Easter bunny that's stealing the eggs, you guys can come up with your own lore about this one. But it's making a run uh, with one egg. I maybe was thinking of having a lot of eggs, but nah, I don't have to draw more than one egg. And who can draw more than one egg? I mean, when you go to the grocery store, they say a limit of one per customer. So he's got one. Uh, so now, I don't know what he's going to be doing with the other arm. Like, if he's running, like, ah, then obviously he's got to be leading with his other arm so I don't know I'm gonna have to do something with that arm um, and he's kind of like an agent he's like a secret agent buddy uh, so I don't know he's got to like have a gun or something you know like where's the play? like that he's just like ah uh, but of course it's got to be like an egg gun uh, so I definitely don't want it to be too violent because you know my drawings are cute uh, so he's gonna have like an egg gun and it's gonna have like egg controls on the top uh, so just cute little things when they're dressed up. I want it to be colorful and happy and fun. Uh, here, I'm clearly aiming the gun in the wrong direction, away. And he's kind of aiming that way, so the perspective is wrong, so I had to flip it around uh, to be aiming towards the viewer. Um, and also now I'm realizing that Bunny's kind of naked, so let's dress it up in a secret agent costume. Because uh, this is a tough Bunny, it's got that Bunny egg emblem on the chest and all the little cufflinks and everything, so this is going to be a, a sort of a space-suited uh, rabbit. Because, you know, when you're doing the egg spy skills, you got to be all dressed up in your proper gear. Uh, I don't think I give him a belt. Um, we're going to bend the ears to make it more realistic, because in real life, if rabbits had ears, which they don't, they would probably bend, because they're too long and they would sort of flop over. Uh, so. This bunny, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, I realize that the little cufflinks should be not. Where is a bunny's ankle? Is it halfway up or down? <laughs> well, the bunny just started talking. That was creepy. Ah, no, it was that hostile monster egg that was talking. Oh, okay, so these little guys, yeah, eggs probably have a very high pitched voice and little squealy, screamy voices. I can picture that. I really like drawing the egg monsters. It's kind of, I don't know, it's not my favorite thing, but it's a fun little activity. Uh, Cause you can just do whatever. You start with the egg base and then just blah, put whatever creatures on it, any kind of motif. Um, in this case, it was just different animals. Uh, so we've got like a fairy egg and a shark egg and a, just a unicorn monster egg. And this is like, a, I don't know what, like an octopus egg? I don't know where I was going with this one. How many legs are we gonna put on this thing? Maybe an octopus, eh, it kind of looks like a horse. So I was thinking maybe it's a bull. Uh, so let's get rid of some of those extra legs and just make it a proper bull egg. And make it more patriotic, uh, if you're American, I guess. <laughs> so Americans are all about riding those bulls. Um, yeah, and now we're gonna just ink it up and get our bunny all dirty with black ink. You know, it was nice and blue before, but mm. So, yeah, uh, anytime you got the hard metal pieces, you gotta put, oh, I did do a belt, nice. Okay, cool. Uh, you put the little seam lines and it just makes it look more technological. It's not necessary at all, but adding seam lines like that, um, yeah, just make it look like two pieces were fitted together. So it's technology. Um, looking forward to painting this gun and making it more, I'm thinking it's like a chocolate gun and then maybe it shoots chocolate, but maybe not. Maybe it shoots like color blasts. Who knows, maybe it's painting the eggs by shooting them with a paint gun. Oh. Can you imagine a gun that shoots paint? Crazy, paint gun. Uh, I'm sure that couldn't have been invented. So, also not sure if I should draw toes on the bunny's feet, but I went for no, because I looked at pictures of bunnies and you don't really see their individual toes unless they got 
some freaky bunny that's wearing those toe socks and <laughs> uh, I'm sticking to one layer for a lot of this which I don't need to but eh. <laughs> if you know where your lines are going you can kind of get away with not doing multiple layers um, at least for, you know, for some stuff I'm always gonna color on a separate layer I'm not crazy um, but sometimes I, uh, I am on Tuesday Today is Wednesday for me, as of this recording. I will upload this much later. <laughs> uh, cool, so we've got the line art. Just gonna add more scene light, apparently. Uh, and give it a soul, because again, the little dots in the eyes are the soul. Uh, if you don't have the dots in the eyes, you have a soulless creature. It's gonna kill you, probably. Uh, the soul little eyes dot things prevented from killing you. So always a good move. You don't want your bunny rabbit murdering you. That's uh, always a negative in my book. You know, it's a service industry individual. Looks bad on their professional report. Uh, so don't know what color the ear should be. I'm trying not to make it too poofy happy. Uh, although it is cute. I uh, thought I might give it a little bit of texture, different colors, but then eh, rabbits don't really look like that. So let's just get into drawing the eggs. They're pretty easy, monochromatic for the most part. Uh, monochromatic doesn't mean black and white, it just means a single color. Uh, that egg's not monochromatic. Oh, whatever. I really like the eggs, they're cute. I would love to have like a little toy line of just the eggs uh, in different forms. Uh, I could go on forever drawing. I should do a hundred series of eggs. That would be cool, actually. Follow me on Instagram for more egg art. Or, you know, just any kind of art. Um, specifically, never that art, because I'm not going to do any other kind of art, obviously. <laughs> that would require learning a new skill set, which, who has time for that in a quarantine? Certainly not everybody. Uh, <laughs> now, I don't know what the egg he's holding. I thought I should do something special with that egg, because he's stealing it. Maybe it's a golden egg. Then I thought, no. You can't really see it. His arm's blocking it. I'll just make it white. So he's got the rare only egg in the world. It's not painted. Maybe he's trying to protect it from being painted. Maybe he's a rebel Easter Bunny. And he's like, no. The tyranny of painted eggs ends with me. I'm going to save this one egg, this one white egg, and leave it white. And I'm going to let it be its own original color. Because hmm, that's the true oppression of the Easter Bunny coloring the eggs, enslave them, uh, make them do their bidding with the colors. Yeah, clearly the colors are, see, the colors hitting that guy prevent him from attacking forever. He will be nice. The eggs that are painted are happy. The eggs that are not painted are violent and feral. <laughs> so if you want to tame your eggs, I guess paint them, but maybe the white egg that he's carrying is different. It's like the one true egg that is going to be fine if it grows up unpainted. Hmm. I don't know. This sounds like an amazing three-part miniseries. Or not miniseries. Ma major series. Hmm. Let's do that. Somebody get on the book deal for that. Uh, can I write the book? I mean, we'll make it really like a thousand pages per book. So I think I'm about done. I mean, I could throw a background on this, I guess. Let's make it blue. Uh, it could be daytime. I think I'll just get this video cut off before I finish this, but... <laughs> Uh, we'll throw on a hill, maybe some, add some weird swirly clouds. It should be sort of fantasy-like because this is Easter Bunny, so, or uh, Easter Bunny. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll just make it more weird and giddy and strange. Uh, so just maybe layer on, change the uh, sort of the coloring layer, the, the layer of the type. So it's, yeah, so it blends weird, blending layer, blending mode, change the blending mode. Uh, so that it blends weird with the other colors and it has more of this weird like I did more work filter kind of thing going on there. Um, she can color the random, the ground, and the ground kind of looks boring because it's all the same color. And even dressing it up with a little bit of a different color there, not good enough. You are trash if you think that's good. No, uh, this is terrible. I don't like this at all. So I need to give it a little bit more shape. So you can get away with not having to sketch anything. And I'm just digging in and giving the hill some shape uh, by just punching out like a sh thing there by just darkening that side of it so it looks like you've got a bit of a hmm. Um, and then I just got away with that just by darkening that little area. Now we're going to toss in some depth so we don't look like we're just on a 
Everybody kind of there yet? Yeah, no, it's about done. Good enough. I'll probably throw a tree in there or something. Yeah, do a tree. Uh, behind the clouds? Get your layer order right, mister. All right. I like doing trees, although I hate doing trees. I'm not good at doing trees, but I like trees. I don't know. Trees are great. I like the fractal nature. Study fractals if you want to get good at drawing plants and stuff like that. Because uh, plants, perfect fractals. Uh, except when they're not. But learn it. Do some practice fractals. You'd be really impressed with yourself. Uh, I'm a little frustrated too because you can't draw the seventh iteration of them. Uh, there's a few cauliflowers back there, I guess. So that is my drawing of the Easter Bunny, um, uh, Easter Bunny, Rebel Bunny, uh, and his, I don't know, let's call him Agent Hawk. Not too predictable? No. Agent Hair? No. Agent, uh, what's the opposite of a hair? Shave? <laughs> Maybe he shaves all the heads. That's what, that's what he does. Ooh, I'm, I'm underlining that. It's like dawn, so I'm going to... Oh cool, I'm putting more effort into the clouds and it's like, look at me go, uh, making it look like I care. That, that's great! <laughs> cool, did I shade anything? Oh, I didn't shade anything. Well, I should probably add shadows and stuff <laughs> to, the, to the characters. Let's, let's do that now. That's another layer that's just set with a hard light uh, blending mode. Uh, just saves me a lot of thinking. Although you should have cooler colors in the shade, which I don't think I'm bothering with. Um, meh, it's cartoony. Doesn't need to be that realistic. <laughs> um, but yeah, probably should. You want it to look really good. So, yeah, uh, obviously the shading makes it look a lot better. Um, don't know if these ray tracing that I'm doing here is particularly accurate. I'm just kind of eyeballing it all. Getting a better feel for it as I practice more. So, you guys gotta practice more if you wanna be better at stuff. Um, because, you know, when you make mistakes, that's when you learn. If you don't make mistakes, you never know if you're making a mistake. Maybe everything you're doing is a mistake if you don't realize you're making any mistakes at all. Nobody's perfect. And if you think you are, you're perfectly wrong. Can I get some ground shadows there? Yeah, get the tail, get the arm, get the shade that white egg, get some shading on the egg, get the arm over the egg. I hope I didn't miss that. I'm doing this after the fact. I, I might have missed something. Oh, I had to go back. Go back to the egg arm. You didn't shade the, the good. Oh, good. Okay. Whew. Almost had to go back and go on the website and see if I didn't upload that properly. That part I'm not sure about. Yeah, I'm not sure if it should be that shaded. Sometimes it's hard to picture these three dimensional shapes and like how how thick thick is this bunny i don't know um perhaps not let's give him a two he's got a two he's a rebel bunny so you know he's not gonna take any eggs i mean he's taking that one egg but not taking your yolk we need ground shadows come on ground shadows ground shadows don't have to be that accurate um, so nobody's really caring for them. so on so forth anyways this is the final drawing i hope you like uh, you can see it on my website, never.com, obviously. Uh, follow me on Instagram. Chat with me on Twitter, I guess. And I'm also on YouTube. Did you know that? I, I have a YouTube channel. Did you know? I post random stuff. Not every week. Um, but recently more often because of quarantine. Um, yeah, random stuff on my YouTube channel. Never know what you're going to get next, like this drawing video. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this drawing. Um, until next time, see you later. Bye.